This is North East Nottinghamshire. It might not look it, but it is. I'm North East of Newark and just North of Bestthorpe Village. Some of you may already have guessed exactly where I am. And I can't give too much away about the location of the species that I'm going to film today, or at least hoping to film. It's a strictly private site and access can be difficult to attain at the best of times. But it'll be fun trying. Well, this is the area that I need to be. I need to be a bit further down though. And hopefully there should be a wooden bridge over this drainage ditch here at the side of the wood. That is my access point, if it's still here. Well, this is the area I was hoping to get to. It's changed, it's been dug out. And where it has been dug out, the nests of the species that I'm after have been covered up. Let's hope that one remains somewhere. Well, they're still here. Here is my quarry. Not found a nest yet, but this is the wood ant. This is Formica rufa. And the location that I'm at is the only site in Nottinghamshire where this ant still occurs. In terms of ants, this is a big brute. A big brute with the power to spray formic acid. And when you get near the nests, the smell of acid is quite unbelievable. Almost like a vinegary smell. Here, we've got a few workers active about, a couple of now active on my hand actually. I'll be show you one. So now you can see just how big these are. These are large ants. They don't reckon a deal to my hand. They're over a centimetre long, most of these. And these are all workers. And now I can see the trail that there is here. But what fantastic things these are. They have a bit of a nip. But this is the only location in Nottinghamshire where these are still found. Long since died out. I had someone contact me a number of years ago who specialised in relocating wood ant nests. Often in conjunction with Natural England. He was amazed that wood ants weren't even being considered to be about being reintroduced into the Sherwood Forest area. And he was willing to do it. And here's the, one of the main entrances to the nest. This nest is flush totally with the floor here. You would never tell that there was a wood ant's nest here. This is not typical of the species. The fact that these ants have remained here for hundreds of years it's probably only down to the fact that the woodland is very private and well protected. The owner is very protective and wary of people coming to see these ants. That's a good thing, I think. Maybe with normal forestry practices, this nest wouldn't have survived either. Hopefully these ants will be here for another hundred years. They are fantastic species. And it's a shame that they're not more widely available for people to see in Nottinghamshire. I have one or two worker forming a roofer on me. But it's been good to come back here. 
despite this long pond being dug out, the ants remain. They are a fantastic species and at most sites where Formica rufa occurs they form an integral part of the site's e ecosystem. It really ought to be considered about releasing these back into Nottinghamshire again. Certainly help to keep those forest pests down or at least under control. At this site here, they are hanging on. Never covered the whole site. Not much point, you'll just get turfed off by an angry owner. But this little bit you can sneak into. And I'm glad I have. The one thing we know about Formica rufa is that in Nottinghamshire we know exactly where every single Formica rufa worker and queen is. Every one of them is here at this one site. Amazing really in this day and age that species has managed to hold on at one site. At one time as I've mentioned earlier in the video this ant was found in the Mansfield area and I think Man the sites south of Mansfield it was more frequently seen than at any site in Sherwood Forest and Sherwood Forest you perhaps would have thought it had been there and remained all along in the heathland sites this is a vitally important species in terms of forest ecology And for commercial forestry, it's perhaps surprising that Formica rufa hasn't been utilised more often than it perhaps has. It's never been utilised in Nottinghamshire. I don't think anyone's ever considered it. But reinstating this species as a Nottinghamshire resident more widely in commercial forestry would provide the perfect natural biological control. It would help keep the number of forest pests down or at least in more manageable levels. It's maybe an opportunity that's missed. Has anybody ever even considered it? This mound may not look too much out of place but it is. It's not man-made. It's ant-made. This is the first nest of its type that I found at this site and it's right on usually on the northern side of the wood where I am. This huge structure which stands a metre high and two metres wide in all directions is made by the wood ant Formica rufa. Formica rufa is a stonking species and I didn't think that this site held nests to this size. It does. And here's one of the entrances that I was telling you about just sort of top centre of the screen you can see there's workers guarding that entrance. These are wonderful, these are. I do love these. Although I've always had a fondness for ants, these are the ultimate. It's just so amazing that we only have this one site for this species. Just the one site in Nottinghamshire. It's quite incredible, really. And say, so because this nest is in relatively deep shade, I'm surprised that it's attained such a size. But the thatch created by the pine needles 
each pine needle individually brought to the nest by the ants. There must be millions of pine needles constructing this. But the reason that these ants construct these domed shaped nests is for warmth. They are a species that likes it in full sun, usually found on the sunny edges of forestry rides. Also, they are found on heathland. I'd love to see this species in Sherwood, but I'm probably the only one. Magnificent things, though, aren't they? Now you can get an idea of the size of these. But say these are sluggish. There's a cool, annoying breeze again today. And I also need to move from here because I'm slowly getting covered in ants.